Hi, I'm Martin Weller from the Open University in the UK, where I lead a research team called the OER Hub. And what I'm interested in uh, in this paper is particularly trying to explore the idea of where OER came from in its modern definition and what are the kind of factors leading into that. Uh, at the OER Hub, we're really interested in the idea of the impact of OERs. And so, so how did we get to where we are now? One of the things I suggest in the paper is there are kind of three parents, if you like, to the modern OER movement. The first is Open Universities. Now, I'm from the Open University in the UK, and that was founded in 1969. And that sort of defined a certain approach to open education. But then also uh, important has been the open source movement, and more latterly the, uh, the sort of Web 2.0 uh, social sharing movement. And each of these has given something to the OER movement, whether it's open licensing, a belief in the social good of open education, and so on. So that I, I suppose that these are the kind of three main parents. And then I look at uh, the idea of different types of OER users. There are those users who are really part of the OER movement, advocates, supporters. There are other users for whom OER is really just a means to another end. And those users who are just really OER consumers. And for each of these, there are different needs and different requirements. And if we want to reach those audiences, we might need different approaches. Another aspect to look at is uh, different areas of OER research. By examining some of the papers that have been published in this area, we can begin to extract some different fields of interest and, and research areas. So having looked at that, I try and consider whether there's a kind of distinct field emerging of OER research. Um, and I propose an analogy at the end of the paper uh, based on the idea of the urban renaissance in, in uh, 17th century England, which isn't perhaps the most obvious analogy, so it's worth reading just for that. Um, but I guess what I'm trying to suggest, suggest is when there are certain conditions in place, Will a field always kind of emerge? At some point, does it become distinct in some?